Hey, what's up? It's who the F is JC or James. As most people know me, I am your unofficial junk food and snack connoisseur. And I have a very special snack related video to share with you today on YouTube. And that's because I have a very, very rare snackable item that was gifted to me by a friend in the radio industry. I wanna say thank you to Ryan Logan. You may know him from Big Jim's house on uh, CSX in the Detroit area. Ryan, thank you so much for giving me this gift. This is a beautiful gift of a snack that I can share with all my followers on YouTube. But what I have, if you guys recall, earlier in the month, uh, earlier in August, there was a Field of Dreams game that took place in Iowa, uh, right uh, on the same set of the movie Field of Dreams. They built like a 8,000 seat uh, baseball stadium and they had an actual baseball game against the uh, New York Yankees and the Chicago White Sox. Well, one of the big things that made the news about that game, everybody's favorite mayor of Flavortown, Guy Fieri, uh, invented something called the apple pie hot dog. And what Ryan gifted me was my very own apple pie hot dog. You see right here? So it came in a box. It came with a bunch of like dry ice or a bunch of really frozen ice packs. You had to keep it refrigerated, keep it frozen. And uh, we are going to unbox this, cook it up, and then we are going to eat it. And I'm gonna let you know exactly what it tastes like. Does it live up to the hype? Did Guy Fieri hit a home run? Or is it a complete miss? So what it is, it's like a, I'm gonna show you this little picture. They gave me a little recipe card. So it's like a hot dog inside of an apple pie uh, with bacon jam, uh, apple pie filling, and then they top it with some apple mustard and some bacon crumbles. So this also came with a recipe. So if I decide I wanna play Guy Fieri on my own, I can create this uh, culinary concoction here. So uh, most of you guys know I treat my bowels like a craps table and I am always rolling the dietary dice. So I was very excited to uh, give this a whirl. So let's open it up first, let's open up the box here. Apple pie hot dog, cute little box. Open it up here. Oh, okay, we got a whole lot of stuffing. Let's get some of this filling out. Okay, here we go, we're getting down to the goods here. Getting down to the goods so you can see inside they got one of the hot dogs. It looks like it's in like a, a little wrap and we have like bacon crumbles and mustard. Bacon crumbles and mustard there. Let's see, let's pull these out. Yes, there we go. We got mustard. Okay, so apple mustard. It says thaw before assembly. Hopefully it feels like it's fairly thawed. It's been in the fridge for a couple days, so I think it should be thawed out by now. And we got ooh, bacon crumbles. Here we go. There's the toppings to our delicious little apple pie hot dog. And the beast, there is a stone. <laughs> Don't know why I got all Frenchy on you. There we go. The very own apple pie hot dog. It comes in its own sealed bag to keep it fresh. You see that? Yeah. Looks like an edible, man. I've seen edibles that come in bags just like this. And on the back, we have reheat instructions. So essentially it says you preheat your oven to 350 degrees, yada, yada. Once it gets 350 degrees, you put it on a rack, yada, yada. You throw it in the oven. You let it cook up, you let it heat up, and then you eat it. So let's get this prepped on the, on the tray. I got a tray here. So it says to use like a sheet with parchment paper. I don't have parchment paper. I use aluminum foil. A little aluminum foil, a little non-stick spray. We'll get that right there. The pan is prepped. Let's open up the wiener here, the apple pie wiener. We'll get it opened up. Pull that right off. Break the seal here. See what it smells like. Does it smell good? How does it smell? Come on, open it up. There we go. Get the seal, bro. Okay. Well, it smells. It smells like an apple pie. It smells just like a like if you were to stick your nose in like a an apple pie at the grocery store. That's what it smells like. You can see in there. You got the wiener sticking out. Just the tip sticking out. Looks like there's a little bit of bacon crumbles, a little bit of apple pie filling that's oozing out. That's probably from the bacon jam that's in there, as well as the apple pie filling that's in there as well. So now I'm gonna take this out. Apple pie, hot dog, pan, bada bing, bada boom. There you go. We're ready to cook. Let's throw this bad boy in the oven. Now, because I totally cheated, I opened up the box, I knew exactly what was inside of it before I started recording this, I worked ahead, I actually have a second 
apple pie, apple pie hot dog already ready to go. So let's uh, let's get this bad boy topped with uh, some of the mustard here. So we can hold this up like this. Get this mustard all shook up. Shake it up. You want it nice and mixed up. This is a uh, an apple mustard. So I'm assuming there's hints of apple. Some sort of fancy Guy Fieri magic was probably done to this mustard. Okay, we got it mixed up. I think it's mixed up enough. Got the top picking off. Let's see. Let's give it a whiff. I don't want to squirt myself in the nose with it. it smells just like mustard, really. Let's do a little test. There we go. Look at this. All right. Now let's lather this wiener. This sweet wiener with some of this apple mustard. There we go. Not going to be as pretty as a Guy Fieri production, I'm sure. But, oh, there's like chunks of apple in it. The chunks of apple are kind of clogging in the tip here. The tip, my tip is clogged. Need somebody to come suck the clog out of the tip. Oops. There we go. I have to clean that up later. That shot right across the kitchen. And we're still... Oh, there we go. Okay. Bam! Apple mustard has been delivered in the sloppiest fashion I've ever noticed. Or the sloppiest mustard job I've ever done. I've never really done a mustard job. Anybody done a mustard job? I got... I haven't... I actually gotta look up the official term for mustard job on Urban Dictionary. It might mean something totally different. And I could just be confessing to doing something uh, I don't normally do. So here we go, we got our bacon crumbs. I'm just gonna sprinkle these on here, then I'll show you. You don't need it. I'm sure you get the gist of the, how to put bacon crumbles on top of a, an apple pie hot dog. It's nice, there's enough in here for two of these uh, viral wieners. That's essentially what these are. Uh, these went, these uh, apple pie hot dogs went viral on the internet, uh, viral on social media. Um, when that Field of Dreams game took place. I think it was back like August 12th. Um, but anyways, I think we have our apple pie hot dog. It's prepped, ready to go. It doesn't look as pretty as the ones in the picture. Uh, you know, I don't know. I hope Guy Fieri would compliment my wiener, much like um, I'm hoping to compliment his wiener. But um, you guys ready? Let's take this bite of this sweet, delicious apple pie wiener. Oh, you can see the apple pie filling just oozing out the bottom here. Let's see, how's it gonna taste? I mean, the, the house right now smells of fresh, hot apple pie with a hint of salty wiener. So the smell in the house is good. It's a great aroma. Let's hope the flavor lives up to that. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Big bite. Took a big bite. It's weird. It's very weird because we're getting the sweetness of the apple. The hot dog is a bit firmer than I expected it to be when I'm biting into the hot dog. The hot dog is much firmer. It's a very firm wiener. Then you get a lot of the chewiness from the bacon. I'm not really getting much of the mustard flavor here. I'm going to take another bite. I mean, the pastry dough that they use for the apple pie is perfectly tender and soft and flaky. But what's throwing me off is the wiener. I don't know if this is like a all beef frank or there's something about the firmness to this wiener. I hope it's, it's going to be okay. I mean, this event did happen August 12th and we're at the end of the month. So hopefully I'm not eating a spoiled wiener here. I'm gonna take one more bite and I'll give you an overall feel for it. I'm getting much more of the mustard flavor there. Let me grab a napkin real quick. There we go. You don't want to stupid on the end of a food all over your face, especially after eating a, a big wiener. Okay, overall. I mean, as a novelty item to buy at a very rare baseball game, like a baseball occasion, if this is like a, a diehard baseball fan or a diehard Field of Dreams fan, and you wanted to have like a, a memorable experience, definitely try the apple pie hot dog. If I'm at home and I got a hankering for hot dogs and apple pies, I'm gonna eat them separately. There's too many flavors going on, there's too many textures going on. It's almost like a it's like a piece of sushi, but without the fish flavor. Like, if you eat sushi, there's a lot of different textures in the food. And I feel like I'm getting way too many textures. There's chewiness from the bacon, soft, flaky crust, 
sweet, gooey, delicious apple pie filling. Then they got a little bit of that bite from the mustard. Um, so it's interesting. It's weird. Guy Fieri, I know the, the mayor of Flavortown, but I feel like you might be driving me on, on a bus, on a one-way street to Diarrhea City. Um, ah, it's just okay. Ah, I don't know what all the hype was about, just other than it being weird. This is a weird food innovation. Uh, my hat's off to you, Guy Fieri, for coming up with such a crazy innovation. You did a good job of combining uh, two things from Americana's past to go along with baseball, hot dog, apple pie. Thumbs up for that. And I can't really give you two thumbs up on the flavor of the taste. It's uh, it's interesting. It's an experience. If the Field of Dreams baseball game comes around again next year, which I believe that they're going to do, and this is available, and you're a diehard baseball fan and you want to get the world weird experience all for yourself, check it out. Otherwise, I'm sure you can look online, you can get the recipe card, uh, or if you want, I can send you a picture of the recipe card if you want to try one for yourself. But I'm going to say the apple pie hot dog is no go. No go for me. And I got one more. I got one more in the oven I gotta, I gotta do something with. But maybe I'll save it for the wife. Maybe she'll give it a whirl too. But anyways, that's it on the unboxing and taste test review of, excuse me, of the Guy Fieri's apple pie hot dog. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you gave my channel a subscription. Click that subscribe button right down below, down below somewhere over here. Or pull a clip of something I did that might have been funny. Share it with a friend. Leave a comment. Drop a like. Or if you didn't like it at all, give it the thumbs down. There's always one of you. I want to know which one of you is going to all my videos and giving it one thumbs down. How dare you, you jerk. But anyways, I'm who the F is G. Oh, I'm who the F is JC, not who the F is G. I'm who the F is A, who the F is JC. Most people know me as James. I am your unofficial snack food connoisseur. Uh, make sure you tune in weekday mornings to Dave and Chuck the Freak. You can find information uh, how to listen to the channel. We're on in Detroit, Boston, Fort Myers, and Tampa. Uh, DaveandChuckTheFreak.com. Find me on Twitch where I'm trying snacks live on my Twitch channel or screaming at 13 year olds that are kicking my ass in video games. You can find that over at twitch.tv slash who the F is JC. But make sure you come back for more snack related content. Until then, sayonara suckers!